Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a laser trigger home defense system. Now recently I've had a bit of a burglar problem. You know, everyone's just trying to get out my YouTube money, break into my place. You know how it is. So I decided I need a good way to get my point across. I decided to go with a home alone type solution. This project will toss pins in their eyes and disable them long enough for you to get the jump on them and give them what's coming. So let's get into parts. First things first, I gotta get paid. So I got this PCB from PCBWay. They pay for my rent and all that stuff. So check out their website where you can get these PCBs as well that I used in my project. Now I figured lasers are pretty cool so we're gonna execute this with a laser trip wire. So I start off by hooking up a battery and a switch to a laser diode. I go ahead and solder it on and take a second just to enjoy the melting of that sweet, sweet solder. Now I flip the switch and look at that baby shine. So next is the usual subjects. We'll need a gearbox motor, a battery, another PCB, a laser sensor, and a transistor to build the receiver. So this next part here is just like Lego. We'll hook all these bad boys up by plugging them into the PCB. So now we can test this out. Now anyone who's interested in the boring technical stuff, basically this works because we have an open circuit while the laser is shining, and that's just because of the transistor. But when the laser breaks, the transistor acts as a switch to close the circuit, and once the circuit's closed, the motor starts spinning and everything goes into motion. Next we whip out the most important material of any DIY project, popsicle sticks. We're going to use these bad boys to make a solid frame. We'll chop them up real nice and glue them back together. So we go ahead and add glue and glue and guess what? More glue. Now using some of the junk I had laying around my house, I create a catapult mechanism for the trap. Now give it a few flicks, make sure it has life in it, you know, unlike your dying YouTube channel. Now ignoring that I attached a whole new motor, let's sit back and enjoy that sweet, sweet solder. So at this point in the video, I realized that the motor actually needs to go somewhere. So let's pretend I'm strong enough to cut through these popsicle sticks, we'll slap on the motor, slap on even more popsicle sticks to the shaft of the motor, and bam, we're armed and ready. So for you curious nerds out there, as you can see, when we break the laser connection, the motor spins and the burglar gets poked full of pins and needles, home alone style. So now when the criminals break in, instead of hiding your kids and hiding your wives, we got a solution to save their lives. Now we can observe the security camera footage of this trap in action. As the burglar enters the room, the trap triggers and disorients them just long enough for you to get the jump on them and give them what's coming. And to finish it off, we have a blooper from the original idea. And just in case you were wondering, it hurt just as much as it looked like it did. And apparently these water balloons are made out of some futuristic material because they didn't even pop. Thanks for watching to the end of the video guys. As always, it'd be great if you could like, subscribe, share the video, whatever you can do to help get this video out there to more people. Thanks for watching.